What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms and we've got Matt back today. What's up? And guys, we've got ourselves a, another unboxing or an uncrating, if you will. Yeah. All right, anyway, we've got a crate here full of guns. Let's open it up and take a look at what we got. Nothing like a good big old box, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, man. So we've got ourselves some Beretta 51s, model 1951 Berettas, nine millimeter, sweet little single stack pistols. Matt, what can you tell us about these things? Well, I mean, you've covered a lot of the basic details. So <laughs> they're made by Beretta, uh, the model 1951. It's, it's very interesting because it looks like the you know 92 that we're very familiar with, right? But mechanically, it's very different. So you can see. On, on this side, there's actually a cross bolt safety. So that's very interesting. Uh, it is single action, so you have to have that back and it'll push through, you know, so uh, in this position, it is on fire. And if we push it through across the left, that's safe. Um, it also has kind of that European style mag release down here on the bottom. And it uses just a little eight round single stack magazine. So, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting because you almost feel like it's a, a baby between like a 1911 yeah. and a Brita 92. Right. Even, even though the Brita 92 comes later. Um, but yeah, like you said, very interesting little Beretta pistol, and uh, they've sold well for us before. So we definitely think that uh, you know these will these will go out really well. You know, if you're a Beretta collector or something, it's something you definitely have to have. Right. Absolutely. And so here is another one we just pulled out. And Ryan, after you get done taking a look at this guy, just pan over that beautiful section of Berettas that we've got there because I think that looks so good. And from what we're noticing on these guys here, they look like they are coming in a very good condition. From what we're seeing so far, anyway, this is just the first one I pulled out. They are coming a, a little greasy, as you can tell, which isn't yeah, a bad pretty, thing. Pretty dirty. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, though. But liking it, you got that hill mag release, like Matt was saying, along with that cross bolt safety as well. And definitely the predecessor to the 92. You see very similar designs there with that open slide and uh, has <laughs> the very good qualities, or I guess you say the qualities, the similarities to the 92. You can just kind of see where it got the, uh, yeah, the looks from for got sure. Got the distinctive of bread up here. Right. Um, you know, the grip is not too thin despite being single stack. You know, you got these uh, these grip scales here that, uh, that add decently to the thickness, so it's not uncomfortable, unlike some, you know, single yeah, stack guns can be really thin. Yeah, and it's got a decent little palm swell right in the back as well, so yeah, you can absolutely. feel that whenever you get a firm grip on it. So actually, yeah, you know, it actually does grip really well. Um, you know, sights are kind of typical for Breda, so the front sight is integrated into the slide itself, and then the rear is dovetailed in place. Uh, sight picture, not fantastic. The front sight's not very big, so, uh, but you know, for something that's, you know, not a target pistol, you're not right. going to be shooting real long distances. These were adopted by police officers and stuff. So from a self-defense distance, I think you're still going to have good enough sights there. Right. And here we've got also too, a couple of different finishes on these guys. You'll notice you got your standard bluing uh, that you see right there on this guy. And then my personal favorite is it's more of like a parkerized finish, which gives it more of a gray accent. I've always liked that quite a bit. And uh, these being surplus again, you kind of really don't know what you're going to get until you open up the crate and take a look and see. Uh, so we can't really guarantee you which exact finish that you will be getting because honestly we don't know how many of each we have. So it'd be hard to uh, get a count on that. But I'm always a fan of that. Something a little, little different. Uh, but ultimately, very cool guns. Liking those. Let's, take, let's grab a couple more here just so you guys can see exactly yeah, what you uh, get. Here's another example of that parkerized finish as opposed to the more glossy blued finish. Um, I really think both of them are, are nice, um, you know, just depending on where, but you know, that the Parker Race finish makes it seem more like a, a military kind of gun yeah. versus maybe the blued, uh, you would maybe associate more with something like a police force or something like that. Right. Um, but either way, um, the markings on here are really cool. So if we turn that around, you can see uh, Petro Beretta and nine millimeter model 1951 patented. So that's, uh, you know, always uh, interested in those, those markings you find on guns and, you know, Kind of tells a little bit of story sometimes with patent marks and stuff. Right. Yep. Here's another one for you guys. And then of course on the opposite side you got that takedown, which in Italian I think actually means takedown or something along those lines on that side. Yeah, I think Pretty like cool. disassembly or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Sorry guys, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> but man. He barely speaks English. Yeah, so. barely. I mean it depends. I mean, this being, you know, Monday morning, I tell you, I'm surprised I'm actually getting anything through. <laughs> but there it is, guys. Let's grab a few more for fun. Another parkerized one. Yeah, I always like that a lot. Again, whenever you get yours, you most likely will have to clean it up just a little bit because in transportation, they're in wood crates, might have some wood chips on it, whatever else, but ultimately it looks like they are coming with some grease in them, which will be good, of course, to prevent any type of rust or things along those lines. 
And of course, if you you know want to uh, to get a hand select, we will have that option for best uh, cosmetically out of ten. Oh, yeah. We'll go through ten of them, pull the best appearing one. Um, you know, just they're pretty consistent though. I would say you know just looking at uh, a couple more examples here. This one's a little less greasy. I, I really like the finish. It's starting to turn almost like instead of a dark black, almost a blue up here on the side a little bit. Um, what's one of those cool things when uh, bluing wears because of the different chemicals they use, you can kind of see different colors, whether it be purple or, or blue, sometimes even green and stuff. Right. Um, but so far they're pretty consistent. I did want to point this one out because this one is missing the little uh, lanyard ring on the bottom. It looks like it's been broken off. Um, obviously with surplus used guns, sometimes there can be minor nicks and dings and something like that obviously can also happen because it's a protrusion that, that right. it's just a little wire. So but that, so far, that's the only one I have seen out of this whole first row that does have a broken lanyard ring. Gotcha. And here's another one here. You can tell just a little bit of scratching on the slide. This is actually probably one of the more rough ones that I've seen just kind of going through, and it's still not a bad one at all, especially for being a surplus pistol. I know uh, me being military myself that sometimes our sidearms don't get exactly treated well. Are you saying that, <laughs> that the Marine Corps is rough with their firearms? Can you imagine that? I can't imagine that. I mean. <laughs> Um, here's a, another example uh, of that that parkerized finish. Uh, you know, the vast majority I'm seeing so far are blued, yeah, but that's right. what like four parkerized ones that we've I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's uh, just wanted to grab that one since it is a little bit more unusual. We yeah. haven't seen quite as many of them. Yeah, and in fact, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and say that this guy right here that's got more of that two-tone finish, it's probably going to be a little difficult to pick up on camera, but you can tell that the slide, the parkerization on the slide is a little bit darker than what is on the frame, and even what looks like on the barrel, and I really like that. So I'm going to consider this one actually to be my favorite that I've seen so far. Matt, do you have a favorite yet? Um, there was one I, I really liked. I kind of set it down. Um, let me see if I can... I think this one might have actually been it right here. The one I, I pulled up earlier and said, hey, it doesn't feel like there's quite as much grease on here. I don't know, it's just, you know, I think that the finish is, is pretty good overall. Um, you know, so far it has been pretty consistent, but I really just, when I picked this one up, I said, hey, you know, that looks really good. It's yeah. not looking too greasy. It doesn't look dirty as much. And, you know, there's something great about a single action firearm. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, just make sure that this is clear real quick. You know, I always want to be safe and make sure we're pointed well away from uh, <laughs> from Clint. But just that really crisp single action trigger pull. There's just the tiniest bit of take up, and then it just snaps. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got to be less than two pounds probably. Yeah, and it's it's a sweet trigger for sure. And it's a Beretta too. I mean, Absolutely, you're not going to yeah. go wrong with Beretta you know, quality the, for sure. The longest in operation ma firearms manufacturer yeah. in the world, and so of course you know you've got that great quality name. Right. Well, I don't know. I think we've pulled quite a lot of the guns out of here, and we can kind of just yeah look, look to see all the guns down in here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Ryan, uh, Ryan if you want to come take a look, just at just about everything that we've got going on here. But I'd say that just looking at the box, I'm seeing fairly consistent uh, as far as the cosmetic uh, appearance. You know, there are going to be some wear, they are used, but just mechanically so far, everything seems to be checking out real well. Yeah. Pretty sweet for sure. Cool looking pistols, like we were talking about before. You can definitely see where the 92 gets its uh, <laughs> gets its heritage from. Yeah, and that big open uh, slide is yeah. real great because you know it definitely prevents things like uh, catching brass when it right. ejects. You know, there's yeah, you don't have yeah. hardly any kind of ejection issues with uh, with that large of an opening. Um, and I think it's just a cool aesthetic. Yeah, for sure. I think so too. I think you guys get the gist of it here. What well, all we've got to offer you guys as far as our Beretta 1951 that we have here. Again, single stack, eight round capacity, nine millimeter. Can't go wrong with it. So if you're looking to you get into that surplus market, I think you've got a great starting point right here. Absolutely. Um, and it's got that real interesting just kind of crossbow safety. You don't see yeah, that kind no. of thing on a pistol. It's a mechanical oddity. Right. Yeah, for sure. And uh, from what I see here, fireworks and yeah i was already playing with this one this is my uh what i'm calling my favorite yeah. so i do know it's clear and all but yeah it does look like the safety's working great for us so perfect perfect little guns man very cool and guys i think uh i think we'll throw this one up there as clint's pick for favorite so if you guys really want that parkerization or you want to go ahead and get your hand select on camera like you are right now <laughs> there you go We'll go ahead and throw that out there as a custom option. We'll call it Clint's pick or Clint's favorite of the model 1951s that we've got. And Matt, do you want to offer yours too? Um, yeah, or do you sure. actually want to like put that in your safe and take it home? And, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I'm a huge Beretta fan, but I'm not a huge pistol guy. You know, yeah. like so. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I'd have to, you know, when it comes to adding a handgun to the collection, yeah. I, it, it's, it's a step that uh, I've taken and then reversed myself and right. gone back and forth. But uh, I mean, certainly, I definitely think that, uh, you know, something interesting with this kind of history would be something that would be great to have in my collection as well. So I might have to pull one out and, and save it for myself. <laughs> Sounds good. But guys, I think we're going to leave it there for you. Also, to check out our current giveaway, oh, it is right. the FN Scar 20S chambered in 762 NATO with that Zeiss optic. Beautiful setup. Threw on some Leupold optic rings, and I think you guys are going to love it just like I have. Check out our video announcing that as our current giveaway. And uh, Matt, any final points? Anything else? Did I miss anything? No, I mean, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, Got to get in on that giveaway 50 Shades FDE. Yes, of it. course. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but no. Uh -uh. Other than that? Perfect. Well, guys, as always, we appreciate your business. God bless. And we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.